Well, the rodent known as Punxsutawney Phil is predicting we are in for an early mm -hmm. spring. But his morning in the sunlight, or lack thereof, is over, and we are turning our attention to another special hog. Yeah, Groundhog's Day is also National Hedgehog Day, and joining us now with more are animal educators Sharon Peterson and there Kim White. Welcome back, ladies. You always bring us the it's best so animals. Cool. Well, thank you. We appreciate you come, having us come back. Okay, Definitely. tell us about the hedgehog. How is it different or similar to the groundhog? Well, they both have hog in the name. Okay, well, there <laughs> that's you go. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's about it. And they're not related to hogs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but basically, um, groundhogs are rodents. We were just talking about that. And hedgehogs are not. They're in the carnivore family. And uh, so they um, have different kinds of teeth that enable them to eat hard, crunchy things like scorpions. These guys, scorpions in the desert and that, because they're an uh, African pygmy hedgehog. The Eurasian hedgehog would eat more like maybe like snails, slugs, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, and vegetation too. Okay. So wherever they're at, but they're, uh, yeah. And there are 17 species of hedgehogs. Wow. And they live in Africa, Middle East, India, um, I'm sorry, Asia, and then also Europe. So they're okay. found all throughout that area. Uh -huh. um, and uh, So, yeah. you know, in the Chicago area, we have a lot of people who are from Europe. And when they see one of these, they go, it's so much smaller than the ones that we know. Really? Because in Europe, they're much larger. Now, the crazy thing is, is like, why do we have Hedgehog Day right. on Groundhog Day? Right. right. Who stole what? Right. Who stole Well, <laughs> you know what? In Europe, they always had Hedgehog Day. Okay. And when settlers came to the United States, they're like, hey, where's the hedgehog? We don't, we don't have any hedgehogs. Right. So then they look to the groundhog, another oh. hibernator. Okay, so people think of hedgehog, they think of Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. And right. these guys don't look anything like the little spiky creature. No, they're not blue at all. No, they're not blue. <laughs> but even they're, they're, they're not fast. They're spiky. No tennis shoes. The they're actually sure quick. They can run pretty fr fast. Yeah, okay. they can. Yeah. But those don't look they, super spiky. Well, mine are, are actually uh, kind of an anomaly because okay. they are not Which the typical ones. Um, yeah. Hi, buddy. You Did go. you want to hold this one? Okay. They're just squirming. That's all. They're very squirming. Don't get my dog squirming, too. Kim has the typical one. These are yes. atypical. These She's are Abby normal. Yes. <laughs> How cute they are, though. Yeah, they keep sticking me. You because yeah. people will look at these and go, oh, they're such a cute pet. Did you I stop want moving one so of much? these. They yeah, are not a good pet for kids. No, not for kids or not for people in general? Because I had a friend who had one in you college. Know, kids. See, if you're a little bit older, you know, and you We're have more up. time. I was going to say, because they're not cuddly. Yeah. No. Cuddles, so yeah. I'm going to pick this one up, and I'm actually going to try to hold it close to the Here. microphone okay. so that you can hear it. Well, okay, I got him. He's just okay, starting okay. to get spiky on me, yeah. Okay. Wait, what, what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can hear the hissing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, is that hissing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He has asthma. No, yeah. it's saying, put me down. I am wanting to sleep. This I, this is not oh. fun for me. This Jeff. is typical. But that's what yeah. I figured. Okay. So yeah. I would say probably about 90% of the hedgehogs are like this. Okay. And not like this. No, not these guys like are, this. Yeah. So why are these guys so friendly? Because they are around people a lot? Well, it's just they're the if, when they breed, if they breed for certain colors, maybe the temperament's not gonna it could be more like that or but these two um just I when I went to buy them, they the were just sweet. They I just was able to pick them up right away mm. and they were just sweet. So just a matter of temperament. It's, I don't know if it's uh, in the breeding process or not, but um, sometimes when you breed for colors and things like that, you can get temperaments can be different when you but, but I don't know, they but I don't know the breeder of this. I just bought them at an expo, and they were just sweet. So I was able to pick them up, and I thought these are mm -hmm. perfect for my show because my kids can handle them yeah, and everything, right. you know? Mm -hmm. They're like big hamsters They almost. are. They're right. really sweet. Yeah. Actually, nice little hamsters even. Yeah, oh, right. so, yeah. You yeah. know, people are wanting to know, like, how we get some of these animals. Um, and a lot of our animals are rehomes. I will tell you that I have had six hedgehogs in my life. One of them I've purchased. Really? All the others were rehomes. Oh. The people who had this one yeah. kept it for six months before they gave it up because they realized that it was not a good pet for their it's not kids. A pet, yeah. They're nocturnal, they run in their wheel all night. When they're running in their wheel, they go to the bathroom and smash the poop in it. Oh, mm -hmm. gross. So then you have oh, to yeah. clean it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then really you have to work <laughs> with them a lot mm -hmm. to make them so handleable. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so if sweet. a kid gets stuck by it once, they become They're a yes. and they don't want to. Of course. Do so, they shoot those spikes? No. Good question. Because they did in the movie Sing. <laughs> so it is. So the spikes, these are called spines. On a porcupine, they're quills. Quills are, so oh, are, right. quills are hollow and spines are solid. Okay. It's modified hair. You can't shoot your hair out of your head. They cannot shoot 
their hair out of their body. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what porcupines do is they can oh, spin away. around yeah. quickly and Here's they can the hit you with one of those and they will release easy from the body and get stuck into the an animal. I'll let you hold this, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're very, very sharp. Uh, they're like, this one's like holding a reverse pin cushion. Oh. Wow. Oh, wow. You got to be very yeah, and careful. He, and he's like, you can see he just kind of. Uh, yeah. what's, what's really cool about their spines, too, their spines too is that, well, on the tip, you can't really see this, there's a little bulb. So when they fall on them, they won't spike themselves, you know, oh. so they won't hit themselves. Oh, self -protection. And at the very edge, there's a little bulb there. And uh, the other thing is when they fall. Now, I had gotten a hedgehog from someone, and I brought it to my daughter's house, and it was running around the floor. It was all cute. And it went right over the edge of the stairs. And she is, so it had dropped two levels down to land on tile. And I thought, oh my gosh, I just got this one. And then now, it, you know, this happened. Right. So I go down the stairs. I can't find it. It's running around still. There's mm -hmm. their spines, the way this is here. Hold up again, Kim. So they're not like this. They're like this, and what happens when they fall, it absorbs the impact. Oh, so natural shock absorbing. So what happens is there are predators that will, you know, sniff at them and they'll leave them alone, but birds of prey can grab them with their talons, carry them up in the air, and drop them from a height. Sometimes they survive it. Because of that, sometimes they don't. And yeah. a really and, cool thing. Well, and because of that, there's a company called Hedgemon. They created a silicone helmet liner that is modeled after the hedgehog spine pattern that absorbs oh, yeah. the shock and prevents concussions. Oh my biomimicry. gosh. Biomimicry. And can teach us on biomimicry. This so much great information. <laughs> Ladies, thanks for coming in. Incrediblebats.com and advice. the naturalist, natural, natural yeah. naturalist.com is where you can find more information. Thank you guys and happy, happy nat hedgehog, ground, day. hedgehog day. Happy hedgehog. 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 Hedgehog.